as a clinician, it's uh, really important to uh, do research, I think, uh, because I think it lets you integrate research and research method methodology into your uh, everyday clinical practice. Uh, that's really important, actually, because if you use evidence-based medicine, um, you actually going to give the best care for your patients, and uh, as such, with, you'll end up having the best outcomes uh, for your patients. Uh, urology has always been at the forefront of uh, research and innovation and I think that's one of the reasons why uh, I'm so enthusiastic and uh, interested in setting up a research uh, lab here in Wrexham and uh, you know I've been very fortunate that we've had good support from uh, the health board uh, as well as my colleagues uh, and uh, the research scientists uh, to let us uh, carry out this research and uh, build upon it with uh, potentially really good and groundbreaking results. My name is Dr Stephen Hughes and I'm currently employed uh, by the University of Chester as a senior lecturer and I'm also the programme leader for the BSc Honours Biomedical Science degree programme. Um, at Wrexham uh, I'm, I have a, an honorary research contract uh, and I'm a research fellow. Our research group here at Wrexham is primarily based uh, involving urology patients and we're interested in um, benign and malignant disorders of the kidneys, the prostate and the bladder. Uh, we have one student, uh, Alison Moyes, who's interested in kidney stones and we have two students at the moment working in the area of uh, non-invasive bladder cancer. The interactions with the clinicians is absolutely fantastic. I, th I solely believe that in our new facility here at Wrexham we're able to bridge the gap between the scientists and the clinicians uh, and it makes well really or bodes well uh, for a positive research environment. Um, we do have uh, research students working uh, with or alongside clinicians and we do actually have some of the clinicians who are very interested in learning new techniques within the laboratory as well which is, which is absolutely fantastic. The, we have many uh, new pieces of equipment within the laboratory. Uh, we have routine pieces of equipment such as your basic hematology and sort of biochemistry routine analyzers which can measure things such as your liver functions, renal functions, full blood counts and so forth. But we also have uh, state of the art uh, equipment such as a flow cytometer uh, which enables you basically to investigate whole blood leukocytes for example and it enables you to look on the cell surface of the cells or to look at things intracellularly. So going forward with the research, um, it's a good positive way um, to be able to do modern research. Um, we also have a fluorescence microscope, which enables us to visualize anything that we've looked at from the flow cytometer, really. Um, we also have some new molecular pieces of kit um, and one of our PhD students, Peter Tomwis, is very interested in bladder cancer recurrence and progression. And a lot of Peter's work will be uh, in, basically involves looking at different protein expressions in bladder cancer. Collaborations uh, so far, we, we have natural affiliations with the Department of Urology, both at Rex and Milo and Aspetic Land Fluid and Aspetic Gwynedd. We have a uh, collaboration with my Department of Biological Sciences based at the University of Chester. And further afield, uh, we, we do collaborate with Bangor University and Glyndwr University based in Wrexham. And moving forward with this, we are now looking to recruit new researchers who are going to be sort of registered through Bangor University working with us here at the laboratory at Wrexham. Um, we are also collaborating with uh, Mr. Manitaria and his colleagues from uh, University College London as well as uh, sort of Cuntab in South Wales as well who are going to be working with us recruiting patients for our studies. The publications we have recently being just over 12 months ago uh, had a paper pu published in the PLOS One uh, journal uh, which was based on shockwave lith lith lithotripsy and we are in the process of submitting another paper which is going to be based on kidney stone formers and that's going to be submitted to the Euro European Journal of Urology. To add to that as well as part of our development as a research group, 
we've attended and presented at various conferences nationally and internationally, with the most recent one being at the Baus Conference in Liverpool in June 2016. The medium, long-term sort of aims and objectives for the lab would be that in the short time since we've been sort of working on our on our research, it's, uh, the growth has been very quick. Um, we've expanded very quickly. We are aiming to try and uh, expand on our sort of um, research laboratory, and hopefully in the next sort of two to four years, try and find a new uh, laboratory where we can have a new laboratory facility. Um, we work very closely with the re research and development team here at Betsy, as well as Health and Care Research Wales, um, and together uh, we've formed quite a formidable collaboration with these separate organisations. There are quite a few people that I would like to thank and acknowledge for all their support. Uh, firstly, um, Dr Rosella Roberts I think has been uh, key for us. Um, she's put a trust in us and uh, without her initial support I don't think none of this uh, would have happened. Uh, the research and development team in general, uh, Dr Lynn Grundy and Dr Nevin Williams have absolutely been fantastic. From a trust point of view, um, we would like to thank uh, Dr. Peter Hickson, uh, uh, Rachel Whitehall and Graham Alexander for their continued and ongoing support for what we're trying to achieve here with, with our research. Um, the support in general has been fantastic and I think moving, moving forward to trying to develop a new laboratory, I think uh, working to that, to, together will be key for this to happen. Thanks also to the, to the Health Secretary, uh, Vaughan Gething, who uh, visited us today here at the laboratory. Um, we gave a brief overview of basically who we are and what we're doing, and it was nice to receive some positive comments from, from the Minister and the full support from the, from the Minister going forward with our aims and objectives for the future.